everyone welcome to my channel I'm Morgan and this is makeup by Morgan and for today's look I'm actually going to be doing a look for um, an Instagram collab so I will link everyone who is involved in the collab in the description below so this week the theme for the collab is forest fires so I will be putting up the um, inspiration image for the makeup look today Okay, so that is the picture that I will be using for inspiration. So we are going to go a little bit crazy um, on the eyes today. There will be flames and trees involved. <laughs> so um, let's just get right to it. So as usual, I will be starting with my Revlon Candid Concealer in the shade Fair. And then after, I will blend that out with my Beauty 360 Makeup Sponge. Now I'm setting my face using my Maybelline Superstay Powder. So first I'm taking a larger fluffy brush to go all over my face, and then I will take a smaller fluffy brush just to go over the places that I put my concealer. For bronzer, I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil, and I am taking that on this large, fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush. And now to contour, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. First, I'm taking that on this larger, angled brush to go on my face. And then for my nose, I'm using a smaller eyeshadow angled brush. For blush, I'll be using the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Tearing Up My Heart, and I'm taking that on this Nightmare Before Christmas brush. To highlight, I'm going to be using this orange shade from the JCAP Beauty Unicorn Magic Glow Palette and I'm taking that on this wand brush and then after that I will also be topping it with a little bit of the yellow shade. For my brows I'll be using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, so now it is time to get to the eyes. Um, hopefully this will work out the way I envision it. So we are going to start with the NYX Vivid Brights in the shade Vivid Halo, and I'm going to be drawing the outline of a flame. Okay, so now I have the outline done, and I'm going to be going back into the Wicked Sisters Cosmetics Spellbook palette inspired by Hocus Pocus, which I used in my last video, 
and I'm going to be using this small Sunny Kashuk eyeshadow brush and using the shade Sunrise to go um, along where I put the eyeliner. Okay, now I'm taking this Nightmare Before Christmas brush, and I'm going to be using the orange shade Salem, and I'm just going to kind of blend that with the yellow and go pretty much all over. And now with a flat wand brush, I'm going to be using the red shade Hallow's Eve, and I'm going to be going lower on my lid, staying closest to my lash line. Okay, now I'm using the NYX Epic Wear Liner in the shade black to draw the silhouette of some trees on my lid. Okay, so I have some trees on my eyelid, and now I'm taking the black again, and I'm doing a wing, and on the tip I'm going to try to draw the little person from the picture. Okay, so that is done. I think it came out somewhat decently. I mean, they're just little stick people holding the walking stick, so... Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. Now I am going to be doing my tight line using the Wet n Wild Cold Liner in the shade Baby's Got Black. And for my waterline, I am using the NYX uh, Suede Lip Liner in the shade Spicy. Okay, and with this small Milani angled brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Hollow's Eve to um, smudge out the liner. And now with a small fluffy brush, I'm taking the shade Salem to go on my lower lash line. And with this flat brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Candle from the Tartlet Toasted Palette. For mascara, I'm using my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, now for lipstick, I am first lining with the same lip liner I used um, on my waterline.
And then for lipstick, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Orange County. Okay, so that completes this look. Um, here it is from a distance. And here's the final look zoomed in. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is definitely the most difficult look that I've attempted, but I think it turned out fairly well. Um, not exactly the way I planned it, but still pretty good. <laughs> um, so if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you!